What's going on guys? Your boy Joey672 coming at you guys with a video. Um <clears throat> getting swept by the Redskins, I'm not surprised by it. Oh man. If I gotta say what this offense had was definitely a lot more effort from this whole team as a team in general. A lot more effort. Um I'm not gonna go crazy on that, but these wide receivers did very well today, uh, yesterday. Um, did good. Paul Turner had a good game. Nelson Aguilar, man, uh, he uh, definitely had a good game himself. And uh, I see a different player in him, you know, progressing. And hopefully it stays like that. Um, and hopefully he can develop into a good backup role by next year and whatnot. Um, the run game didn't do shit at all. I mean, Wendell Small got hurt. Ryan Matthews had a few runs. He was positive, uh, most part, um, but that was it. Um, Carson Wentz escaping the pocket. I don't know how many times and just having days and days to throw the fucking ball. And didn't even get a chance to throw it to anybody. It was a tight end, friendly tight end game. Trey Burton, no, Zach Ertz, Brent Selick. I mean, Zach Ertz had... 13 catches, 113 yards, something like that. Fucking crazy. Crazy game for him. I just can't imagine if we get two good fucking receivers. Um, tight ends did great. Running backs were eh. Offensive line, man. Holy fuck, dude. This fucking offensive line. Changing positions. Or what, our third or fourth right tackle already. Matt Tobin. Gotta get him the fuck out of here. Um, too much at stake, man, when you can have backups in like that. Um, Matt Tobin was a Chip Kelly, per a guy that came in, um, and I've never liked him. Um, never liked Matt Tobin, you know, caused, you know, pretty much fucked up the game at the end for, you know, pretty much the Redskins were going after our weaknesses on that offensive line, which was Matt Tobin. And, uh... Got away with getting by him, hitting, getting Carson Wentz, fumbling the ball for them to take, you know, take that W. So I'm not gonna be totally upset about this. It's bullshit, you know. I'm not gonna be upset. We lost, we got swept, and that's that's just it. Um, it's all about the off season. Um, and I was waiting for a while to, you know, for the Redskins to throw the ball deep. Um, Deshaun Jackson catches a fucking pass deep, and that's been our main priority, our main problem, is deep fucking passes with these fucking corners. McKelvin got a pick six, Leo's McKelvin pick six, great, that's awesome, but no one Carol McKelvin got to go, because they just cannot hold it, they can't hold up, you know, not even just that, but McKelvin is just injury prone, fucking... Old age is probably getting to him now. Um, <clears throat> we need a young ass fucking cornerback. Um, Got to get it done. Fletcher Cox, two sacks, did very well. Um, haven't seen him in what eight games. He hasn't done shit in eight games. It's just been a crazy roller coaster ride with this team all year. Um, but damn, what a fucking time! It's crazy. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, reading definitely more reports on Deshaun Jackson right now. Um, Deshaun Jackson is definitely obliged to, intrigued by coming back to Philly. And um, I think there's a good chance that might happen. We need a deep threat. Um, we need a deep threat going downfield. We don't got any deep threats. Bryce Treggs is just some skinny ass fucking receiver that's got speed, but he's got to be able to go through the physicality of a defender to make a catch, and I don't think he'll be able to do that with the small body that he has, the small build that he has. Um, the dirty hit on Darren Sproles, you Redskins fans know that was a bullshit fucking call, and anyone that's either at the stadium or watching on TV can definitely see that when you throw your fucking hand up for a fair catch and the ball doesn't even come to it. See, if the ball hit his chest and he got hit, a different story but if the ball was like literally the ball wasn't even fucking near him if it, he doesn't even have the ball in his fucking chest by the time you hit him it's a fucking penalty and that's what it is so luckily he's all right he walked off the field good um you know Wendell Small got hurt so we had to take him 
Um, the offensive line was just banged up this week royally. Uh, Brandon Brooks' illness. Um, fucking everybody. Matt Tobin, uh, Vitae is out. So, um, depending on what's going on, it's just been crazy. Pre-snap penalties are fucking killing us. It's the same shit every week. But you know what? I'll give this team credit that for what we have on this roster, they're giving it their all. And that's all that matters. Whatever they have, they're giving it their all. And that's it. That's all you can really hope for. But it's not enough. We got to deal. We have to deal with free agency. We need to go fucking go out there and get some wide receivers in free agency this year. And I wouldn't even fucking keep the ones we have. Paul Turner is definitely. If you want to keep backups, Paul Turner and Nelson Aguilar are going to be backups. They should probably stand as your backups. A deep threat backup and a slot backup, whatever. The outside and inside, whatever. But um, overall. They played all right. It is what it is. Got to wait till the off season. It is what it is. Okay, we got swept. Play. It's, it depends. Okay, so this isn't. A, I'm gonna cry about it. Video because it's not. This is just something that we all do because we need to figure our shit out and it helps us relieve all the tension. So, um, I have to say that was a fight. It was a fight, and. Got to wait till next year. This is all we got to do. We get two receivers next year. We need a fucking full. We need a healthy fucking running back that can stay healthy all year because this is just fucking ridiculous. Um, and a corner that can fucking cover somebody down the damn field on a fucking island if possible. Um, and that's it. It is what it is. And I give this team credit for doing what they got to do. It was a tough loss, but they fought to the end. And that's all we ever wanted was them to show us that they could fight. Whether they don't have the whether they have the roster to do it or not, it's all that matters. Carson Wentz is gonna be a fucking G. Um, dude, escaping the pocket four or five fucking times and having all that time to fucking throw. These receivers gotta have make themselves reliable for this fucking quarterback. A, a quarterback is nothing without a fucking receiver. He is nothing without a fucking receiver to throw to. The quarterback is only good when the quarterback actually gets out, makes accurate throws, and that's it. Because if you got no one to throw to and you got nowhere to run after you scramble outside and you have so much time to throw, there's nothing you can do. But this is a game where it was dirty and we put up a fucking fight and that's it. So we got the Ravens Sunday and we got you know the Giants and the fucking Cowboys and that's it. And it's fucking over. That's it. And we can go on. And we will be a force to be reckoned with next year because we're definitely going to have a better fucking roster next year. No matter fucking what anyone says, we can say that the Eagles can say the Eagles suck and they're not going to go anywhere or whatnot. But we will be a force to be fucking reckoned with next year when we have a gelled fucking offense next year. Our defense is only a few steps away, a few clicks away, and that's it. Okay, never mind anything else going on. A few clicks away, that's it. But that's all I'm going to say about it. So, I'm going to get going. Let's go fucking birds. Finish up this season strong. And stop talking shit. Because the Giants beat and swept the Cowboys. So, leave your comments down there. Because I'm not going to care. See you later, guys.